Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that? Uh, mm. huh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey. Ooh, hey. I can't be for rappers. Studio in the booth, that's why I leave a rapper. In the streets thugging, I ain't even wanna be a rapper. I might clap a rapper if I see a rapper. If you see a nigga with me, probably ain't a rapper. Sneak dissing in your songs, make me hate a rapper. This man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of your gang, gang, or don't bang. Follow me on IG, you know who I be, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi, your sister I said hi, whatever the case may be. Um, Tay Rock, salute to Tay Rock and all that he has going on. Uh, he's he's in one of them bags, he feels like you know he's the face. I would say that if Battle Rap or if URL had a face, it would definitely be Tay Rock. Uh, proved it. On many occasions, including yesterday in a battle with T-Top, it's not about the fact that he won. It's about how he won. Winning a battle 5,600 to 400 or 500 in votes is probably one of the largest vote margins ever. Like, he won this battle so bad that his mama, his own mother, text him, you know what I'm saying, I seen this on uh, socials, on, on Instagram earlier, you know what I'm saying, his own mother had texted him and said, you did your thing baby, yes, oh my god, you had 5,000 votes, what, that's crazy, body bag bitch, his own mother, <laughs> when she start texting like that, his own mother said, body bag bitch, so, Rock then says, at URL TV, at Smack White, my family, Uncle Smack, Uncle B's, you damn near a mentor of mine. Can I have a home game in Baltimore City, please? I want to put on, in front of all my people, 2023, all 43 of my URL battles are road games. I never had a home game. Uh, I think at this point, he's almost due. Like, he should be due for a home battle. And don't you niggas worry, I got the name of who I think he should battle with Baltimore. Don't you motherfuckers worry, I got it. I got it. And it'll be iconic too. Um, but I'll tell you that in one second, right? You following? Follow, right? Walk, 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 walk down this road with me. Um, rock as an MC in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, we cool. Like, that's my man. I'm so cool with rock. Niggas be like, oh, UK, I was, I'm not a part of a battle rap clique. You know what I'm saying? It's my man. We cool. I fuck with what he does, but the one thing I will say is this. He's the one person, one of the few, like it's a few people, but he's one of the few people that whether I felt like he won a battle, whether I felt like he lost a battle, he never took it personally. You know what I'm saying? Like regardless of whether I be like, yo, bro, you ain't get this one, or if I feel like Danny got this one, or they, or whoever else was the battle, he never took it personal. And every time I reach out, whether it be on some battle shit, you know what I'm saying, he always, we always have that dialogue, you know what I'm saying, and I let him know. When I remember when he was gonna battle Chilla, Chilla was on a run. Like, Chilla was, whew, he had just beat Sean and everything. And I was like, Nick, Nick, this, you, this what you want? He wanted it. He literally wanted that battle. Like, I want this battle. He's the one who's smoking shit, I want it. I was like, all right. In my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna support what you do, but nigga, Chilla was on a run. What he do, he cooked Chilla. Uh, in his battle with T-Top, I asked a simple question like a couple weeks ago. Yo, you know, how's it coming along? He said he was ready. I was like, what? The announcement was just like, yeah, he was ready already. He was ready with them 35 minute rounds that he had last night. He was ready like two, three weeks ago. Nigga was like, yo, I'm ready right now. Like, I want, I, <laughs> I want to get, I want to get him out of here. And this is what a lot of y'all probably don't or did not digest about the battle last night. When he saw Briz walk across that stage 
and go over to T-Top's corner, he saw red. Like, he saw red. He didn't even see, it was, it was not even like colors anymore, like black, white, yellow. He saw red. You haven't, I haven't seen this man, you haven't been on URL stage in almost two years and the first time I see you, you're going on, a, stand on the other side to watch this nigga battle me with rounds that you probably heard and angles that you probably, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to kill that nigga right in front of you. Y'all want to see a dead body? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to make this a night to remember. You are never going to forget what I did to your man in front of you, nigga. You know, fucked around and got fucked around. Yeah, it's not going to be that. It ain't going to be that. You know, <laughs> it ain't going to be that. It might not be this, but it ain't going to be that. Like, it might not be 30 or whatever, but whatever you guys had planned ain't going to happen. I say, yo, at one point I was like, Briz need to jump in. Yo, you got to jump in. You got to swing on this nigga or something. Now. Do I think it was the craziest, craziest rock ever? No, I don't. No, I don't. He had a very, he had, he had good material. He had some fire punchlines that was behind a lot of other material. I'm after you, the passenger, I'm blasting you. His quote unquote AMG mode. But when he gets to those lines, like the bare minimum, like that shit was crazy. And I don't feel like it was close. I don't feel like anything. I feel like it was <clears throat> that battle. I know, I know, I know, I know. That shit wound up being. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Shit was a bag. It was a bag. Now, Rock deserves a battle at home. He deserves to get that look at home. Come on, Vada, who should he get? Who should it be? Charlie Clips, the trilogy. Charlie Clips, the trilogy with Tay Rock would be fire in front of a Baltimore crowd. They battled twice already. Charlie Clips rotisseried him the first time, you know what I'm saying? The second time, way closer, you know, people got rock, people got clips, you know, you know how Bando be opening up, I pay a shooter, abandon your house, get boarded up. That's when Rock started finding himself. And I think that that would be a dope trilogy, a part three. If not Rock versus Clips, you could do Rock versus JC. There's mad battles that he could do at home. You know what I'm saying? But you got a nigga that done battled 43 times on the road. Come on, for the love of God, he has to get a home game. It's almost, it's in this, you niggas be in California like every fucking week. You niggas been in Atlanta like every fucking week. There is no reason that niggas can't find a venue in Baltimore and get this man a battle at home. Like, he deserves that. Yeah, big crowd. Get a crowd. Yeah, yeah. A thousand niggas will pop out of Baltimore. I don't think so. Baltimore got all the surrounding cities. You got Baltimore, you got Virginia, you got DC, you got niggas from Jersey, niggas from New York, niggas in Delaware, niggas in Philly. All them niggas will drive down there to Baltimore to see Rock battle at home one time. I think it has to happen. Am I bugging? Am I bugging? First of all, am I bugging? I don't think I am. But I think Rock, you know, after his battle last night, you know, coming off the Vixen battle that he won, you know, he's been he's been on a hell of a run. He's he's you know, what can you say? And the thing is, these angles, bro, these fucking angles are getting so like it's like the battlers, they take the same angle, reuse it. The, the you have Mook use the angle, then the angle gets flipped, then the next person use the angle, then the angle gets flipped, and nobody's adding no spice, no nothing. It's just the same thing over and over and over. I think you niggas should start battling caution. I really do. I think you, I think all the niggas who want to write a whole round for Rock about his girl, about his dance, about, y'all niggas should battle her. She battles too. You know that, right? It, she does battle too. You can hit up Drake Dennis. You can get on Gates of the Garden. Y'all can battle her because you're not going to beat him using the same redundant angles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your girl this, your girl that. Uh, I squeeze the lock. I don't even proceed with caution like my nigga. Not gonna work. Y'all can keep trying it, but he gonna bar y'all niggas away with just bars. <laughs> he just gonna literally go just raps. He done stood in front of tougher angles. Like the thing that y'all don't understand, that y'all not getting, he stood in front of tougher angles. 
That shit when Briz and Mook and that shit like that, that fight shit, that was a way to chain that. That shit, those were angles were way tougher than the girl shit. That you don't ride with your niggas. That was a round that Geechee was trying to destroy this nigga, like get him clearly the fuck out of the picture. And Rock fought back. Just saying, Rock fought back. I can go look at the app stats and see how the numbers were, but um, I do think that he definitely deserves a home game. He was putting in way too much work, you know what I'm saying? Way too much work. The two on twos, you know what I'm saying? The fucking everything that he's done, you know? Let's look at the Rock. I was trying to see the stats for Rock versus Geechee, right? The way they call this battle. Uh, so in the votes, Geechee Gotti had 280,000 200, votes in his first round. Rock had 200,000. In the second round, Rock had 100,000 votes, 125,000, Geechee had 85,000. Then in the third round, they had Rock with 100,000 and Geechee with 60,000, you know? But in the overall battle, then they had Geechee with a couple more votes. Like, it was, his shit was like 2,000 and Rock's was like uh, 1,900. So basically, it was a de super debatable, but if you look at the reaction numbers, Rock uh, got busy in the second, third. So when you throw these angles at him, Yes, it might be cool for a round, but do you have the endurance for the performance? You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yeah, you got to get that man a home game. I think it's almost a necessity at this point. It's almost a, a crime against humanity for Rock to never have had a battle <laughs> on his home court. Like, what? Even NBA players take road trips and they get a home game. Nigga needs one. Well, 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 you are, you can't say you are without the motherfucking L. Hey. Huh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, ooh, hey, I can't be for rappers. Studio in the booth, that's why I leave a rapper. In the streets thugging, I ain't even wanna be a rapper. I might clap a rapper if I see a rapper. If you see a nigga with me, probably ain't a rapper. Sneak dissing in your songs, make me hate a rapper. 